Hello, and welcome to our presentation on how to use the 123 formation to anticipate price breakouts. This presentation is also available in PDF format, and you can easily request a free copy by sending us an email at team at halifaxamerica.com. Before we begin, please take some time to read this risk disclosure. This presentation is strictly for educational purposes. We are not giving trade recommendations, nor are we recommending a method for trading. Instead, we are providing educational information on an analytical tool that may inform your current methodology. Okay, let's get started. First, what is the 123 formation? The 123 formation is a pattern that identifies three points of price movement. Point one is the initial upward or downward trajectory of price movement. Point two is the highest peak or lowest trough of the initial movement. And point three is a partial retracement from the peak or trough moving in the opposite direction. Now, why is this pattern so important? The answer is that the 1-2-3 formation outlines the basic building block of a trend. If we were to define a trend in its simplest form, we would define it as follows. An uptrend consists of consecutive higher highs and higher lows, while a downtrend consists of consecutive lower lows and lower highs. For our purposes, let's just assume that the criteria defining an uptrend can be applied to a downtrend but in reverse. And for the remainder of this introduction, let's focus only on the uptrend. Look closely at the figure on the page. Based on this definition, if price movement were to develop into an uptrend, then a higher high would require price movement to exceed 0.2. A higher low would entail that price would not move below 0.1, like this. Once 0.2 has been exceeded, a new cycle begins, and that confirms the beginning or continuation of an uptrend. Because 0.2 must be exceeded in the case of an uptrend, it marks a critical breakout level. Note that this figure illustrates an ideal uptrend. The point at which price exceeds 0.2, a new swing cycle is assumed wherein 0.3 becomes the new 0.1. Any discontinuation of this swing cycle, for example, if any of the 0.3s were to move below the first points or fail to exceed any of the 0.2s, such a discontinuation might signal the beginning of a sideways trend or a reversal. Ideally, and especially if you follow basic Fibonacci principles, you don't want to see 0.3 retrace more than 75% of its movement from 0.1. But of course, this happens at times quite frequently in the real markets. Real markets are messy, and although it may happen often at times, such a retracement places the momentum of a trend into question. In other words, we assume that an ideal uptrend is caused by significant momentum on the buying side. Let's see how this works using a real historical chart. Here's the big picture overview, and we're looking at the pound dollar from December 2015 to January 2017. Note the color codes. The blue boxes designate bullish 1-2-3 formations, while the blue lines designate 0.2 breakout levels. The green boxes and lines designate bearish formations and breakout levels. Next, let's examine this chart in greater detail. As illustrated in our hypothetical example at the beginning of the presentation, the first 1-2-3 formation or swing cycle begets a new cycle. Now take a look at the figure on the page. 0.3 exceeded 0.2 while not sinking below 0.1. Now take a look at the last cycle at the top right, where the 0.2 breakout failed. Point 0.3 would be designated as a new cycle, in other words, a new point 0.1, but note that it had retraced about 90% of its movement. This doesn't mean that it will not continue, but we'll address a similar situation in our next example. Let's take a look at what happens when a trend reverses. Look at the figure. The first swing cycle in blue assumes an uptrend, anticipating a breakout at point 0.2. 
Note that point three fails to break out and starts moving toward its initial point one. At this juncture, we anticipate a violation of point one and therefore identify a new potential downward swing cycle, in other words, a new one, two, three formation on the downside. Point two becomes the new point one, while point three becomes the new point two. Toward the right side of the chart, downward momentum ceases again and we draw a new 1-2-3 formation while bearing in mind that point 3 had retraced 90% of its movement similar to our last example. That makes it a weak prospect for an upward breakout, but that's what it eventually does. This example is a continuation of the breakout we were just viewing. As you can see, 1-2-3 formations and their breakouts continue upward, though the second cycle's retracement is close enough to the former cycle's levels as to be considered as virtually sideways in movement. And in this example, following the breakout in the previous detail, a reversal takes place once again. The failure of price to break upwards prompts us to designate the highest price as point one in a downtrend, anticipating a break below the movement which should have exceeded the highest price. Upon breaking below point two, you can see how price ends at our present time in which the 123 model anticipates a break below the new point two, a movement which may or may not happen. Okay, now it's your turn. Take a look at any chart and try to identify these formations and see if such an analytical tool might be relevant to your trading style. For now, let's do a quick recap. The main purpose for this presentation is to illustrate how the 1-2-3 formation, a pattern that embodies the most basic principle of trend construction, can be used to anticipate price breakouts in a trending market. Remember that anticipation is not prediction. Bear in mind that real market conditions are messier and more confusing than any ideal model for trend construction. Trend reversals may happen often. One final caveat we need to mention is that trend is also relative to time frame. For instance, a downtrend in an hourly chart may be a downtrend, uptrend, or trading range in the daily, weekly, or monthly charts. Thanks for joining us in this very brief presentation. Send us an email if you want a free PDF version of this presentation. You can also call us if you have any questions about the information presented or if you need help in understanding this analytical tool that we just presented. Our email address and number is on the screen. Until next time, we wish you success in your market endeavors. Thank you.